Hey everybody, Shoot Shit TV. Today we are back. The weather is beautiful. It's nice and cold just the way I like it. And when it's cold, that means we're back to gel block testing. Uh, I think my last test was sometime earlier this year when the weather was still pretty brisk. But we're back and we're still doing the testing. Um, I still have the same formula that I'm using for ballistics gel. Slightly different setup because the last time I had a successful test did a number on the table and uh, what I was in the spam can that I was holding up the, the gel block on. Same size gel block. This one should be durable enough to stop the bullets. Uh, wood back stop like normal, standard table. We're gonna shoot this little guy here. Two things on this table, maybe even three, that are completely underrated. This is a Smith & Wesson bodyguard with the Crinsman Trace Laser, which I don't like. I've, I've featured this before on the channel, but we've never done any ballistics testing on it. So, a lot of people say using a hollow point 380 round is not going to give enough penetration to stop a deadly threat in a self-defense situation. So they say, why don't you use full metal jacket? Okay, that may work, but maybe you'll get too much penetration. Then there's some crazy stuff out there like this, RIP, Radically Invasive Protectile by G2 Research. They've been around for some time. I think they came out in 2012. Don't quote me on that one. They've been out for a while. Very interesting ammo. Um, this is the only box of 380 that I have of it. Um, doesn't say the grain weight on this 62 grain there it is so basically what happens these 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 little claws here break off and the center or the base of this is a very small projectile that continues forward and these guys yaw all over the place inside you know tissue or a gel block whatever you're shooting at so that's why they're calling it a radically invasive projectile um, I brought this out this is an old box of ammo that I have. Shot most of it. it didn't run too well, but it was pretty interesting. 9mm Corto, which is a 380 round. So maybe we'll shoot that. But we're going to test three types of ammo. We're going to test the full metal jacket, a standard Federal HST, a uh, hollow point, and this crazy stuff right here. So let's load up, and get going, and get some testing done. So first things first. We're going to go with the Federal HST round. And hopefully we place this in a good spot on the target. So let's see if we could do this with one shot. Uh, not bad. She's clear. Wow. So that passed completely through. And went out the other side and hit the wood backstop right here. Let's see if we can find the round. Give me a minute, see if I can locate it. So that really sucks. I was not able to find the bullet. So I think it went through completely uh, 13 inches, uh, actually 13 and a half inches of gel. A little bit of expansion right there. A little bit of cavitation, but I'd say it's about an inch and a half worth of cavitation straightened out and penetrated all the way through. So let's set up, let's try the full metal jacket next. And I set up the backstop a little differently so we can probably catch that one because I know that one's going to zip right through without a problem. So this is standard 102 grain full metal jacket, 380 ACP. And we're going to go for that ballistic gel over there. And we're going to see what kind of penetration we get with that. That was kind of low, but that's okay. She's clear. Passed right through. There's the bullet right there. So we caught it. No. Just to give you an example, after it went through this, it hit this, and that's where it stopped. So it hit a pretty hard st structure. So that's pretty impressive. So let's try out the uh, 
their RIP ammo and see how that does. So here it is. I mean, look at how aggressive that is. Isn't that crazy? Hope you can see that, it's not blurry. Pretty aggressive. Not sure if I'd still carry this though. Wow, that was a good shot too. So that pretty much destroyed the ballistics gel. It's clear. So you can see some of the pedals. So this successfully opened up. Some of them went out. It looks like some of them exited here. Um, and the base is right there. And you can see that expansion. It is really impressive expansion right here. I mean, even though it's overlapped, you could see it just exploded within the first inch of entry. Just exploded. All that power, all the pedestals broke out for most, you know, I could just, I could safely say they all broke away. Let's see if I could fish out that end, that plug piece. Yeah, there it is. This is what it looks like. So all the pedals came off, and this is what you're left with. I mean, that almost has a little blender on the end of it, too. So that's, that's impressive. Let me turn this around and try another shot if we can catch the Federal HST. So hang tight. Okay, I have an HST in there. We're going to shoot it on the clean side and see if we can get it to actually catch. See, my backstop actually catches the bullet so we can take a look at it. That was a good shot, too. Clear. So, there it is right there. Did the same thing. Ugh, let's see if we caught it. I sure hope so. <laughs> let's see. You know what? I don't see it. No, oh, hang tight. Let me investigate. All right. I don't know if that was the first one or second one cold so I'm not sure but here it is so we had some really good expansion so let me tell you I take this one I take the federal HST over the RIP because that's kind of aggressive and it's new it's not researched it's not completely dependable in that aspect where we know what's going to happen there is not enough field use but this stuff has field use. This went through 13 inch, 13 and a half inches of clear ballistics gel, ballooned out like this. You have to think that this would be sufficient enough to stop a threat and open up. All right, guys, that was another successful test. Stay tuned. And I got a lot of cool stuff happening. So like, subscribe, comment for Shooting Shit TV. Signing off. Did you guys actually think I was going to end this video without shooting some cool shit? Got pumpkins, surplus of pumpkins these days because of Halloween. So we're going to go ahead. We have two pumpkins, one and two, small one and a big one. I'm going to start off with that little nine, that nine millimeter quarto that I showed you in the beginning of the video. Backed by an HST, followed by uh, four of the RIP rounds. Little pumpkin first. Skimmed out off the top, pretty cool. Let's finish off that small pumpkin with an HST round. That was awesome. RIP round to the big pumpkin. Tell you what, I don't know if we softened it up or not. Look at that. See that? So that base, it expanded in the pumpkin, that short pumpkin. And you had some of the claws come out. You got four dots. Kind of looks like a carved pumpkin now. And here's the entrance. Pretty impressive. But I tell you what, what was more impressive So this is the HST entrance. 
came out the bottom somehow. Wild. Another RIP to the dome piece. Small pumpkin RIP. Look at that. Damn. Demolish it. There, it's dead. And the last two, as long as we don't get a failure. Yeah. That was the last one. Unless the freaking round popped out. Anyway, that was cool, guys. So it stayed intact. But <laughs> the internals of this thing has got to be destroyed. Anyway, thanks for watching. Shooting Shit TV. Signing off. <laughs>